something I don't understand. You said you love me, and that's a fact. And then you left me. Hello there, Tony Medley once again, and a nice warm welcome back to my workshop. Today's project, um, I've been asked by uh, a, a very dear cousin of mine to uh, make a, a potpourri bowl um, with, I think she wants the um, the hummingbird uh, filigree on the top. So all I'm going to do, to be perfectly honest, is glue a chuck and point onto it as normal, flatten it off, make it round, and then cut the segments um, to it all in oak, because that's what a furniture is. Uh, she wants it all in oak and I'll probably make it uh, about 80 millimetres uh, high. I've just marked to cut them corners off. So I'll cut them corners off and then glue the chuck and point into the centre. Right, as it's a nice cl um, warm morning, uh, there's no need to put the heat gun on it. So just put a little bit of glue on it and then we can glue the chuck and point onto it. Right, I've got it into the chuck. Um, all I'm gonna do is bring the tailstock up just for a, a little bit of added safety. Uh, turn it around, level it off and take, put a chuck and point in here. As I keep saying every time, sorry to repeat myself, but we put a wiggly line down one side and a straight line down the other. It's just in case that your blade is out and I guarantee that um, most blades are out, even if it's just a, a couple of thousand of an inch out, it will alter it. So uh, I'll explain how we do it later on. For the people who've uh, just joined my channel, uh, we cut the first one on number one, second one on number two, third one on back on number one, and the fourth one back on number four. Uh, there's no need to go outside, so you just go inside to inside. There's no need to turn it over or anything like that. As we're going to do a 10 segment ring, we need five with the marks on one side and five with them on the back side. Uh, and all we do, we're going to take the fuzzies off, but whatever we do, we don't take anything off that angle there. So if it's that, that little fuzzy there and that one, if you need to do that side, do it on, the, on there like that. You do that throughout for all ten of them, so we get all the, all the fuzzies off each each one of the ten. Right, once you've sanded them down, if you put them out, and I, what I find easier to do is to put them down and clamp them up, just to make just to check on the gaps, which you shouldn't have any. Um, so all you do is you put them in an order where you put two without and two with the mark and always have the wavy line on the top the one without and 
just check, make sure that they're okay. Once you've done that, just clamp them together. Making sure that they... And there, as you can see, one with a mark, one without, one with a mark, and right the way around. The wiggly line is always on the top, and there you can see, if there's any what looks like there's a gap, all it is is just that it's not completely level. There's a, there's a gap there because it's not level. Um, all we do is glue that together and then obviously join them in stacks. Here comes my uh, least favourite job, is to glue them up. Right, it's all glued up. Uh, all I've done, I've glued the four rings onto the base and uh, I've left it for 24 hours. It's now ready for ten, and so uh, we'll get on and give it some shape.
well that's another one done uh, thoroughly enjoyed it I uh, hope you enjoyed the video Jeanette and your potpourri bowl all it needs is the potpourri um, she went for the roses the only thing what I would say if you're gonna make one is that these are all different sizes so you have to make them all individually some of them fit and some of them don't they're just different sizes so obviously just ready for the potpourri to go in and then we're all good to go uh, the only thing that I found with the end grain of the oak for what I use for the book for the base is just a different color which is understandable I suppose uh, the uh, the rest's okay I've done it all segmented um, my cousin wanted all oak to go with the furniture no fancy ones I might do another one later on with um, flex of sapelli or something like that I, I don't know but anyway uh, thoroughly enjoyed it so can I please take this opportunity to thank everybody who's subscribed to my channel if you haven't already please hit the subscribe button I guarantee it's absolutely free it doesn't cost you a penny and also for the people who's took the time uh, to, to leave some nice comments anyway I'll catch up with you all later on the next video thanks very much now bye